Hey guys, how's it going? I actually got a really good game for you, and um, I think I'm going to make an updates video tomorrow if I have the time, but um, yeah, over the summer, I forgot to mention this earlier, but I'm definitely not going to be able to continue daily uploads. It's probably going to be like every other day, if that, because the only nights that I'm really going to be home with no plans are the days that I have to work tomorrow morning, or I mean the next morning, which is like tomorrow morning, but anyways, I don't want to get into that, too into that, into this video. But this is actually a really good match, and I had played this guy a lot um, this day, and we pretty much knew each other's teams pretty well, and it's pretty interesting. And I decided, I usually lead off with my Seismitoad, but for this match, I decided to leave off lead off with my Kangaskhan, predicting the uh, Scallopede lead, because that's what he had normally led with. But, um... He decides to lead with his Golurk instead, which is alright, because I'm just going to go for the fake out. It does a quarter, and I'm like, alright, double edge should kill if I get max damage. Um, I had to get, like, minimum damage to um, not get that kill, but I do get the crit, which sucks and whatever. He's going to bring his Sock in now and make a great play, knowing I would go into my Masharna to take on the Sock very easily. He brings in his Scallopede, which I believe is banded, goes for the Megahorn, takes me down to 1%. Oh my gosh, was that a play, and I'm able to take him out with a Psychic. Sucks for him that I lived, but um, yeah, check this out right here. He brings in his Mantane and takes me out, and this is where it gets pretty epic. I bring in my Sock, and I'm like, alright, he's going to predict the Stone Edge, go into his Tangela, and I'm going to go into my Simi Seer to take on that Tangela, and then I'm like, wait a second, he's just going to go back to that Mantine. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to go back to my uh, Sock, and he's going to go back to his Mantine. So I'm like, alright, this is uh, he's going to think something's going down here, he's going to stay in, and I'm going to go for the Stone Edge. <laughs> I hit it, and I take him out in one hit, so that was quite a series of plays, if you ask me. That is going to be in one of my Bust Nut videos in the future. The near future, though. He brings in his sock, and I'm going to bring in my Seismitoad. Because now that my Masharna is dead, this sock is a threat. Oh my gosh, is that a threat? And it's scarfed. Probably adamant scarfed, because that did a ton. Goes for it again, just takes me out. Uh, no big deal. I didn't really need Seismitoad all that much. Uh, I couldn't do much versus Jinx or Tangela, so... Yeah, I'm going to go on my Leafeon. Predicting him to switch, actually. I go for the Substitute. Very, very luckily, he takes me down to 36%, so I'm able to still get a sub up, and he's just going to continue going for the CCs because he does have the Sturdy. As you'll see, he's at very low defenses, and I'm just going to be able to take him out, or not take him, take him down to the Sturdy with a Leaf Blade. So here I'm thinking, okay, going to let my Leafeon die, then I'll go into my uh, Kangas Cannon, fake out anything, and... Um, yeah, he's going to take me out, and that's what I proceed to do. But uh, he he's smart. He wants to save his sock, and he's going to go into his Tangela to take on um, my Kangaskhan extremely well. I'm going to go into my uh, Semi-Seer, and luckily, very luckily, he misses the Sleep Powder. That sucks a lot, but I don't know what he would have done. They usually carry Giga Drain and HP Ice and then maybe Knock Off, so I don't think that would have helped him very much, but it really does suck. And I'm going to go into my sock now, predicting the close combat, and I'm just going to fodder myself off. But he actually goes for the Earthquake, and I'm able to take two, because I do have some HP investment. And I'm able to take him out of the close combat. And I don't know why I locked myself into close combat. It really didn't matter what I locked myself into. But, yeah, I guess it didn't matter. So here, he go he puts me to sleep, and I make a misplay on this next turn. I was going to... um originally just switch in my semi seer or my Kangaskhan. No, my Kangaskhan. And that's what I do on this turn because I knew he wouldn't be able to take me out the one hit. And he goes for the Psychic, does 48%, and he's going to be able to take me out with another one. But here's my plan. I'm going to go for the Fake Out, knock out a sub. He can't put me to sleep, so he's just going to go for the Ice Beam. <clears throat> and then I'll be able to go in my Semi Seer Outspeed for the Specs, Flamethrower, Easily Kill. And that'll be the game. So it's a very good game. Um, look for that one series of plays in a future video. It was very cool. Leave a like if you enjoyed that very interesting match. Very, uh, very good if you ask me. And anyways, I'll see you guys later.